Airbus A320 has a variety of different external light systems. Let's have a look around the aircraft at each one. The aircraft has a standard navigation light setup. A red light on the port wing. A white light on the tail with logo lights illuminating the tail fin. And a green light on the starboard wing. Red beacon lights are located on the top and bottom of the fuselage to alert ground crew and other aircraft when we're about to start engines, when engines are running or we're about to move, such as when pushing back. The strobe lights are housed on the ends of each wing and on the tail. They are used when entering any active runway and from takeoff all through the flight until we have vacated all active runways after landing. The navigation lights, beacon, strobe and logo lights are designed to aid other aircraft in seeing us and knowing our intentions. How about the lights that aid us as the pilots looking out from the inside? These are primarily housed on the nose wheel gear assembly where there are four lights. The taxi light is used for taxi and landing. The takeoff light is a more powerful beam and, as its name suggests, is used just for takeoff. There are also the runway turn-off lights. These point out an angle of around 30 degrees to illuminate the areas to the side of the aircraft to aid with runway lineup and runway vacating. They are used for lineup, takeoff, landing and vacating the runway. There are also retractable landing lights housed under each wing inboard of the engines. They are used for both takeoff and landing and at any time that the crew wants to increase the visibility of the aircraft for example in busy airspace, or during operations with parallel approaches. Let's now go inside the aircraft and look at the controls and indications.